everyone. Okay, so we are all just plugging away at this challenge and working really, really hard. I want to give you guys another avenue to get Plexus in front of people. And I know a few of you are already doing this, but I just kind of want to go over the details of how Mandy and I do it. We do weekly events for our team, um, Facebook events, we call them pajama parties. You can find the um, script for it under the files tab. I'm going to load it on this page, okay? We do it on a Facebook event, not a group. Reason being the Facebook event, everything stays in order. And so it's just easier to look at, especially if somebody comes late. Um, that way they can go through it the way that everything that was posted. And it makes more sense. On the, the settings, we select private for that. We're also, for compliance reasons, not putting the word Plexus in the title for the event. This last one we called the New Year, New You Party, okay? Um, you want to have at least two people working these. One ambassador to be doing the posting and another ambassador to be interacting on the post and answering questions. We get our teams involved, so we have a lot of interaction and it just creates a lot of excitement. Our last event had over 80 people on it, so it was pretty incredible. We are also posting Plexus before and after pictures leading up to the event. And these are the compliant pictures from corporate, okay? And we um, have our ambassadors post their compliant testimony either the day prior or the day of the event. We also ask our ambassadors to be on the event to help interact and answer questions as well. Um, we do not just add our entire Facebook list to the event. We ask permission. Mandy has created a brilliant message, we call it our magic message, to send to people and so many respond to it. Um, I use it for follow-up a lot and people that have ignored me or told me no way back when, many of them respond to this. I always challenge my team to send out at least 20 of these messages and then I also kind of change the message up a little bit to fit a post and as it's getting closer to the event, I will post that on publicly on my Facebook and get people off of that as well. My guests, the day of the event, I send them a reminder with a link to the event. And then when the event starts up, I have my list of names there and I tag them in the contest to make sure that they get entered. And also if there's a particular post, like say I really want them to learn about the X Factor, I will tag them in that post for the X Factor to make sure that they see that, okay? And we do the drawings the following day. That way it gives everybody a chance to get entered even if you know they don't get on and read everything until the next morning. Um, another thing that I started doing, okay, so this last one, I had a major cost objection afterwards. First of all, make sure you follow up, okay? That's where the cost objection came in. You have to make sure you follow up, and I suggest following up that night right after the event. That way, things are still fresh in their mind. The excitement's there. None of that has died down. Okay, so she had a cost objection. I used the feel, felt, found method. And then the next week, I messaged her, and I told her, okay, we have another event this week, and this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to think about um, some friends that you think would be interested in this and send them this message because they could get on there, they could learn more, and then if they decide that they're gonna do it, you sign up, they go under you, and that helps you pay for your products. She totally did it. She even posted it on her Facebook. So that was really, really exciting. I was really happy that I did a follow-up like that. Okay, now, I would like to invite you guys to our next event. I'm, I know it will be next week. I do not have the date and the time yet. I'm waiting um, to talk to Mandy on that and get that lined out. Um, hopefully I will have that by the time you're seeing this and Dusty can put that in her post. So I would like to open that up to all of us 
to use. Um, and the way that we'll do the prizes on this one is if your guest is the winner of the prize, then you supply that prize, okay? It's a three-day decision pack is all it is. So if you're willing to do that, I would love to have you join in on our next pajama party and just kind of experience the way that we do it. So if, you, if you're up for that and you want in on it, do me a favor and comment below. Tag me in the comments so I don't miss it, okay? All right, I'm super excited to have you guys do this. All right, have a great day and good luck with your contacts today.